Hello and welcome to another episode of Eat, Smoke, Drink. Um, what better way to spend more of these lockdown days here in New Zealand with celebrating um, a whiskey from a New Zealand whiskey festival. So to introduce to you why I've got this in front of me today, um, I'm going to pair this particular whiskey with a dark chocolate cake. Um, whiskey and cake go hand in hand together. Whiskey and chocolate, shall I say, go hand in hand together. But I prefer chocolate cake because who doesn't like chocolate cake? Um, but also, I'm going to pair it with this P.T. Kalila. Actually, this particular whiskey is called Dirty Little Secret from Dramfest. Dirty Little Secret because there was a censored sticker over the distillery. You're not supposed to know the distillery, but obviously, you know, the censor's there so you can take it off and, and have a look who it is. It is bottled by Elixir Distillers. Uh, I'm, I'm quite a bit of a fan of them. They do SMOS, a single, the, the Scotch Malts of Scotland, uh, single Malts of Scotland, and they also do um, the Elements of Isla. This particular one is bottled especially for Dramfest. 56.9, it's 11 years old, it's a refill, refill sherry but Kalila whiskey, 204 bottles in total. So, um, I've tried this in Dramfest, it's excellent, and that is why today I'm confident that I'm going to pair it with this chocolate cake for maximum awesomeness. Oh, it's just hedonism at its best, isn't it? So let's get nose in, and I'm going to do a bit of a different um, review today. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to put water in it today because I've got the chocolate cake and I'll take you through why pairing it is absolutely excellent. They called it Dirty Little Secret because it smells dirty and funky. And indeed it does. I'm getting foosty notes, fungal, the sherry influence is there even though it's a refill sherry but you're really getting that floor from that um, sh um, that, that sherry that was in there or that, that just that funkiness from that sherry. It's got a bit of sulfuric um, smell to it, which is not a bad thing by the, by the way, in my opinion. And the peat obviously is quite apparent, but um, you're getting a lot of condensed fruit, like a raisin, like a jam out of raisins. A bit of um, boysenberry jam, a bit of cinnamon, vanilla, burnt sugar, a smoky burnt sugar, burnt brown sugar, some fresh rubber in there, and that quintessential Isla Kalila salinity. But from the nose, from the nose, the peat, the smoke, the resin um, is quite well integrated. It's not quite a, you know, like a hit in the nose. And that is why they call Kalila's the gentleman's Isla, because unlike Lafroig, um, where you've got that peat that just overwhelms and it's hard to pick other flavors to be, you know, like just gotta keep sniffing and sniffing and really work hard. Kalila really has a well integrated peat and rubber and, and burn smell to it but there is a distinct sweetness funkiness foosty obviously like a, a, a bit like a dunnage warehouse like a damp firewood shed so I'm taking my time with this because it deserves it it is such an excellent dram and look overseas out of New Zealand I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get this Maybe check out whiskeygalore.co.nz to see if they're willing to sip some out. I'm not sure if they would, but I'll put the link down below if they still have some leftovers. There's not going to be that many, but we'll see. I'm getting some minerality, a steely nature to it. Like a rusty, like a rusty smell. Brass, copper. Let's get tasting. Mm, mm, mm. Look, keeping in mind, the ABV is not low by all means, 56.9, but it is very approachable. 
on the high end of approachability. Mm. Straight away I'm getting sugar syrup, caramel, oh, the oil, the resin, the oil just coats my mouth, absolutely amazing. Mm. And it's getting cold now as well, so oh, this dram just warms me up. I'm getting fresh rubber, fresh rubber on the palate with a massive waft of smoke. The smell is actually a bit different to the taste. When I say that, the smell is more subdued than the taste. The taste is a hit in the face. It wallops you in the face and the mouth. It really is quite a potent whiskey, but not fiery and burning for the ABV. It is very approachable and extremely civilized. Mm. I'm getting a grilled nectarine. I'm sorry, grilled peaches. I'm getting grilled peaches. I'm getting um, cinnamon, nutmeg, spice, fruit cake, but not so much. The sherry is actually quite light. Um, one could mistake it for 50-50 bourbon, 50-50 sherry, but it is, it's not heavily sherry. The smell is a little bit, but it's not heavily sherry. It is just a perfect balance. I'm getting vanilla and I'm getting that coconut, that sickly coconut taste from the barrel. So I am unsure if this is um, matured in its entire life with the refill sherry, but I can't tell you. I'm suspecting that it's not because I am getting a little bit of a bourbon influence and in saying that because it's refill, maybe I'm getting some of that oak coming through like you would um, if it was a bourbon cask just from that oak resin. Mm. Absolute stunning dram. I'm getting an earthiness, a soiliness, and you can't mistake that salinity on the tongue. That salinity on the tongue making, makes your mouth water, and it's saltiness, but it is absolutely excellent. And the herbal, and the herbal flavors as well, um, really does come out. Um, and when I'm saying herbal, I'm talking a slight hint of licorice. I'm talking um, a little bit of, I'll probably say a bit of rosemary in there, something quite savory. Um, I'm getting a little bit of salami fat, a bit of bacon, um, like cured meat, shall I say, not bacon, but cured pork, uh, maybe more like a prosciutto. Um, it's, it's hard to actually know, maybe a guanciale even, just that fatty pork, fatty note to it. And it's got a, vibrance, a vibrancy to it, it does it with a word. Um, it's quite vibrant, it's quite youthful, but not young that you taste that new make spirit, enough so the barrel has acted enough with it. Um, but you know, youth is not always a downside when it comes to whiskey in my opinion, sometimes youth gives it that um, vibrant flavour, that flavour, that elevated kind of flavour. Um, and uh, it's, it's not so wooded. So I'm gonna pair it now with chocolate cake um, and tell you what I think. Mm. Oh, I love cake. Mm. Mm. So, the reason why I think cake and this is a perfect mix is because cake has a bit of a, um, you know, the, the cocoa in there has real earthiness to it. Um, the sweetness to it, it's bittersweet, it's earthy, and then the peat just balances out perfectly with that. So I'm not going to tell you a cigar pairing with this today, I'm going to tell you a food pairing with it today, a chocolate, a dark chocolate cake suits us perfectly today so once you've had a bite of chocolate cake and you revisit the whiskey the smoke is subdued and the sweetness on your palate really just completes the whiskey um, what a delicious combination I mean what a delicious combination 
until then make sure you eat you smoke you drink and um, if you're in New Zealand or any other countries where you have a lockdown keep safe stay safe and keep those bugs away um, you remember one dram a day keeps a doctor away that's science I'm a scientician cheers and thank you until next time